Hey folks, so it hits the fan and you open your MRE and you find out it's mush. I'm down here at HTF, the survival store with my buddy Paul. Uh, we were just talking about our, our friend uh, Cooter actually got an MRE that was bad. The heater did not work and he opened the packet of food and basically took a couple of bites and it was inedible mush. Yeah, the last thing you want to do is get into your preps and uh, find that things have gone bad and get into your preps and uh, uh, it's just uh, nasty stuff. You don't want to get into a, a jambalaya with ham and shrimp and uh, get into that nastiness. Yeah, especially the shrimp part. So there's a lot of questions about how long the MRE will actually last. Uh, you know, I've had guys who talk about sea rats that ate sea rats 30 years after they were good. <laughs> And, I, and I've always said, you know, as long as it doesn't have hair on it, it's probably going to be edible in the in the uh, uh, doomsday scenario. Uh, you don't want to be eating that that shrimp and stuff like that when it's bad. So uh, I did read a study recently. Uh, U.S. Army Natick uh, Research Lab uh, was uh, certifying something like uh, 100 months uh, at 70 degrees storage. Uh, less than two years uh, at 100 degrees. So there's a pretty good range. Um, I think civilian MREs between three to five years uh, are actually the actual goal. And uh, the actual military MREs are about three years is actually the goal. So, um, you know, there's, there's some discrepancies and some, some abilities, but it really depends on how it's stored. Yeah, and you never know uh, if that box of MREs you bought uh, was sitting on the tarmac in Baghdad for three months uh, before it got shipped back to the States and then sold to, uh, to surplus. So it, you really just need to be careful. Or shipping, sitting in a shipping container. I yeah, mean, uh, oh gosh, you know, yeah, that's uh, even worse. Or somebody's trunk or whatever, you know, you just never know. I, I like to think that people, if you're going to be out by MREs, know the history of them. Yeah, and uh, there's something about, uh, I was reading about recertification, what about that? Oh yeah, yeah, I heard uh, about recertification. They actually take uh, uh, units that have been, uh, reached their expiration date uh, using the Julian code, and then they'll open them up and if the, the pouch is uh, still flat and still sealed uh, like this, then it's okay. They put it in another box and recertify it. Uh, if it's puffed out, uh, then they throw them away and then they get rid of them. I wouldn't even go by that. I, I tell you what, when Cooter was here and uh, I had some of his MRE. It, oh, you it tried was, it? Yeah, it was bad. Oh, it was oh. really bad. The yeah. cheese was dried out and uh, the peanut butter wasn't that good. And, and I have never encountered anything uh, like that before. But I tell you what, it, it does go back to what I always say is don't put all your eggs in one basket because you want to have some sort of a mix there. Sure, I've got MREs and MREs are, are compact and portable and that's in my bug out bag, but I've also got a bucket of the wise food and, and a whole lot of dry goods stored. Yeah, that's exactly what we talk about here is, you know, MREs are great for having, uh, you know, the one big thing with MREs is they're big and heavy, but uh, they're great for the car, they're great for the, you know, when you're going to go for a hike and throw a couple in your pouch uh, and get rid of them as you eat them. Uh, but in the long term food storage, having a couple, you know, a few boxes and everything, but, you know, mix it up, mix, you know, get some vegetables in you, get some uh, dehydrated, you know, mix it up with, with that and your rice and beans and, and everything else. While we're on the subject, this morning I did a, uh, a Sam's run and, uh, you know, I, I was just looking at my own stocks and wanting to add some more. Uh, I tend to buy, I, or I try to buy little bits at a time, uh, but every once in a while a Sam's run just to, to bulk it up, Sam's or Costco. So today I got uh, 60 pounds of rice, 50 pounds of sugar. 50 pounds of salt, 50 pounds of pinto beans, and I don't know, about six pounds of pasta. 
uh, well, we're going to have an event here because we've been having a lot of people asking about it uh, on the, what's the date April, on that? Monday, April 11th. So Monday, April 11th here in Anderson, South Carolina at HTF, the survival store, 6 p.m. What we're going to do is actually I'm going to take all that bulk food that I've just gotten and we're going to go ahead and store it. Uh, we'll do some with the mylar into the buckets. And then I'm also going to do some with the food saver, and which will also go into buckets. So if you're anywhere in the area or you can make the trip, come hang out with us on April 11th and we're going to learn a little bit about food storage together. It's going to be a fun event. Uh, don't miss it. All right, folks. Thanks. Stay safe.